Welcome back to the Black Parade. So we've just finished uh, looting a keeper. I don't know what would you call it. Outpost complex installation. I don't know. That's hidden away. And uh, also borrowed a book while we were there. Which is weird. Everything else we took, we're not planning to return, but the book apparently is going to be returned. And we got the heart that we came for, and uh, maybe some smidgens of answers as to what is all going on. At least the beginning of the smidgens of answers. Let's uh, see what's happening in the next episode, and maybe there'll be some more. the fruit earned from work and sweat. He who deceives the innocent to steal from his purse may live like a prince or even an emperor, but shall always be judged a miscreant by the builder. Things were not supposed to go this way, and I was foolish to think this would be painless and easy. It's as if I haven't learned a damn thing. The whole affair stank from the start, and by touching this accursed statuette, I was branded a sacrifice to these necromancers. The Black Parade, as they like to call themselves. And if that wasn't enough, I now have DeWall's increasingly efficient leg breakers on my trail. I've had enough. Tonight, I make things even. I've learned from this old tome that the mages of the Hand Brotherhood imbued items with specific magic in order to prevent their corpse toying offshoot from going awry, and that they can be used to get inside the source and deflect the spell. In this case, I assume the source is that talking statuette I found in Haltree Manor. The bad news is I need three objects like this, but the good news is I can kill two birds with one stone tonight. One such object is Aldrius Demise, the ruby I robbed a while ago, and it is conveniently in DeWall's possession. The old man has been erratic lately, and his lieutenant, Reputo, thinks his reign is long overdue and wants to overthrow him. He managed to deliver to me, through a third party, a letter with instructions, a detailed plan. It's audacious, and I happen to like it. I'm to carry the cadaver of some Hammerite High Priest, stashed in a hideout not too far away by Reputo's lackeys, and dump it into Wall's secret dungeon. Reputo will take care of the rest while I'm free to steal that ruby. Again. I have little reason to doubt his intentions, as Reputo is also in charge of DeWall's assassins, and if he didn't intend to betray him, I'd be dead already. There's only so much he can do to slow them down before it gets suspicious, however, so I better act quickly. This is the perfect opportunity. DeWall's manor is heavily guarded, and breaking in through the front gates would be absolute suicide. DeWall has recently installed Hammerite security devices in key locations, and has very well-trained house guards, guards he doesn't even seem to trust anymore. The guy has always been on edge, but it's been getting worse lately. Reputo, ever helpful, gave me a very detailed map of the manor. Too bad I have no information on DeWall's quarters proper. I doubt this job will be easy, especially with a dead weight on my shoulder. But no amount of security will stop me, and every place can be broken into. All right, old man. It's just between you and me now. All right, um... Payback? Payback for what? For not finishing the job that he hired us to do? I mean, okay, we were, we were coerced into the whole business to begin with, so... I guess... There's, there's some bad blood there. Infiltrate the Wall's Manor and steal Aldrius' demise back. Dump Father Berthold's corpse into Wall's secret torture chamber in the wine cellar. Well, 
I don't understand that. I, I guess Refugia's gonna make sure it gets found, because otherwise the whole point of having a secret torture chamber in your mansion is that it's secret and whoever ends up in there doesn't get... isn't known about, people don't find out, is the point of it. So planting a body there is... But if Roberto makes sure that the Hammerites find out about it, I guess that'll be relevant. The wall probably has Sacramento's chalice locked up somewhere in the manor. Find it, steal it back. Steal the wall's ledger. Rupert says it's kept in a safe. And valuables. Do not leave without at least 2,500 worth. Okay, it shouldn't be too hard. You have to swap Aldrius and Demise with the replica Rupert gave you, otherwise the guards will definitely notice it got stolen and sound the alarm. They won't notice any of the, the, the uh, chalice going missing or the other 2,500 loot worth. No. And they won't notice me running around noisily. I'm quite sure. It'll be fine. Oh. Oh, wait. Do not let DeWall notice your presence at all, or the whole plan will not work. No sightings, no alarms, nothing. Oh my god. Okay, that's bad. Force ghosting on a ridiculously huge mansion with... Hammerite security cameras, which are... Hammerite security cameras are awful. Um... Like, like the, the Craigslist ones. It just, there's no feedback on them. I don't know, I guess we'll see how they've implemented these ones. And do not harm the wall in any way either. He has to stay awake. Don't kill anyone. Well, yeah, that's like... Would be a bit of a giveaway, wouldn't it? And leave the premises once I'm done. Okay. Ah. If I was doing this on normal, I would not have to bring the chalice back. Isn't the chalice one of the important items? Doesn't matter. We're not, we're not doing it on normal wood. Uh, yeah, it's, it is no sightings, nothing on all difficulties. But I guess that way I'm not going to need much in the way of hit points, right? I'm not going to get full damage only. This should be the only damage I take. Let's go. Uh, I should have uh, a reasonable amount of money to spend. I know I missed some corners and stuff in the city last time, but uh, I was, you know, slightly tipsy quite... Literally. Not actually, uh, not actually intoxicated, just leaking. Aldrius of Demise replica, a replica of the ruby Aldrius Demise. It looks almost exactly like the original and should fool anyone without extensive knowledge in precious stones. And the letter of instructions, which we don't have to pay for because it's not a hot tip. Good, good. We do start with a healing potion. Uh, smoke bombs on flash bomb. One of each. Foot locker key. Key opens the footlocker in which Father Berthold's corpse is stashed. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. What have we got here? Spirit potion. 550? That's enormous, enormously expensive. Brenda's whoever drinks it invisible in bright light for a time, as long as they don't move too fast. Now, I have not got the hang of using these. I'm not going to spend money on it. It's like, I used one successfully when I was standing still, or two, but they wore off pretty quickly. And there wasn't any real feedback that they wore off except that my light gem lit up again, so... Um... It's not great. Uh, and not moving quickly is... Uh, a bad trade-off. A very bad trade-off. If you want to use it to get away, then you want to be able to move quickly. It's just kind of the point of getting away. Strength potion provides you with enhanced strength enough to carry heavy objects with no hindrance. For example, but it also makes it easier to spot, so watch out. Alright. It's a potion of swole, and you just become so big and strong that uh, you, you're just much easier to see. Skip it. If we're not going to be seen here, we're going to want moss, we're going to want water. Do not let the wall notice your presence, right? But it says no sightings. Does that mean only him can't see us? His guards are okay to see us? I'm not sure about that. I'm confused about that. Um, got three rope arrows, that should be enough. Disruption bombs. If we're sneaking around his house not being seen, that should be good. I'm gonna have to... I don't know, we'll see. I mean, do I even need flash bombs then? 
gas arrow, 500. I could put back one water arrow and get a gas arrow instead. And that could come in handy in a pinch and would leave me with just one penny left and... Do I need nine moss? No, let's put one moss back and get two more waters instead. Eight mosses, tons, 15 water arrows, but pretty solid. And now we can grab one more broadhead for luck. Let's do this. We start on Bres read Reputo's letter again. Yeah, yeah, I know. Start on Bresling Street. I was going to check the map, but let's read the letter. Fair enough. Hume, you're the best sneak I know, but even you won't be able to evade DeWall's assassins forever. With this in mind, I thought of something that will benefit us, benefit us both. You know I am an ambitious man, but I need your help in achieving my immediate goal. It is time to strike and take down the wall, and to do this the best way possible, you will have to do several things for me. If you carry them well, you have my word, I will clear your name and let you go, so you can be free to do whatever you damn please. I have arranged the murder of a high figure of the Hammerites, Father Berthold, and told one of my underlings to stash the body in a footlocker located in a hideout close to DeWall's manor, near the corner of Bristling and Westwall. You will find the key to that footlocker with this letter. Be wary of any lawmen you see around DeWall's manor. They may be the Baron's men, but they are practically under DeWall's command and will attack you on sight. Once you have the body, dump it in a secret torture chamber somewhere in DeWall's wine cellar. A skilled sneak such as yourself should have no trouble finding it. An officer of the Baron's police will raid DeWall's manor tomorrow. As you can imagine, that officer is one of my trusted contacts within the police and he already knows to search that area. I have to ask another favour. DeWall keeps a ledger in a safe. I know it's there, but I've never seen it myself. Knowing that old snake, it is probably filled with all sorts of dirty little secrets I'm aching to learn. Steal that ledger for me. Be careful not to let DeWall see you, otherwise the whole plan will fall apart. And naturally, you must not harm him in any way. You can rob whatever you want, though. He won't need to look at where he's going, and I've always found his display of opulence to be in very bad taste. Taking a few cues from Ramirez would have served him well. Best of luck, your friend, R. Your friend, hmm. Okay. Map-wise, or oh, we don't have a map of the street. Oh, they're marking the periscopes for us. That's that's nice. Prepared by Arnolfini and Associates. The map was the map with a lot higher resolution in the in the uh, cutscene. Uh, but I guess they wanted to keep the number of pages down. It's a very square place. Um, security office looks important. I probably... Well, like... I don't know, I was going to say shut down the periscopes, but they're not supposed to be cameras, right? They're supposed to be periscopes someone looks through, so... Maybe there's just one person watching through all of them there. Hello. Stay out of the way of the lawman, shall we? Oh, there's several of them. Near... what was the streets? What was the streets he said? Near, near... Uh... Bresling and Westhall. We're on Bresling, so I guess Westhall is going to be the next junction. these lights that just like instant boundary crossing again. <coughs> Don't know if he would have seen me because the mission's not been consistent about that so far, so. I'm missing. Probably just banter. He didn't seem to notice me, but you know, I don't know. I don't trust these guys. Okay, he's going away. Jacobus S. Peterson, North Quarter's most renowned banister. Appointment only. Thing. West Hall. Is he 
Can we back or not? There's a footlocker here somewhere. Wow, lots of rain. Who's there? Is someone there? Nothing making noise now. Maybe that cellar would be hiding the footlocker. I mean, I don't even know which place is the wall's place. I'm, I'm not familiar with this part of town. Ah, oh, this is going to be a footlocker. Okay. Makes sense down in an alley. Anything else in this alley? Apart from it being patrolled by the guards, which is... not the most convenient. Chilling here, whistling to himself. All right, there he goes. <laughs> okay, he's past the door. Get a wriggle on. Just going on the streets is going to be a bunch of work, even without having to dodge cops. And I don't know what the street ahead looks like, so. You go from plaza. Okay, and he just comes around and back. I'm hearing a uh, slightly inebriated guard somewhere up ahead, too. Was a sewer entrance. <sighs> you should be safe enough. Scout around. Oh, an alleyway. Doesn't look like anything for me out here, so the sewers is going to be it. There's a guard up there. And that's not the wall's place, right? That's some other place. No, the guard's that way. Alright, let's get a move on. Let's get down the seal before this guy comes back. <sighs> yeah, that was almost disastrous. <sighs> I mean, he's a corpse, so we can just throw him down, right? He's not gonna... He's not gonna mind the fall. Spiders. All right, which way we're heading in? I guess we're heading south. I guess we just need to hope that this is going to take us where we need to go, because I have no directions about where we're trying to get to. Right? It's the map of his house, which is a little weird. God, the downwinders are here too. Sounds like.
I should have called them the off-key whistlers. Hey. Freeze! Oh, shit, he's on the body. You got any idea what we do to unwelcome guests? I didn't think to hide it. He could cause a problem for us, it seems. I mean, he's just seeing a body, but, like, I'm sure he wouldn't be averse to... I know you're out there. ...spreading that information to someone for, uh... In return for, a, you know, looking the other way at some convenient time. <sighs> you got any idea Take a clunk. to unwelcome guests? Oh my god, that's ought to be soft. Well, we're off to a great start here. Come on out, and I promise I'll take care of you quickly. I don't think I can rope up there. There is a window, but I don't think I'll be able to rope it. Right, he's kind of stopped hunting. It's just another body thrown in the sewers, you know. It's nothing. Nothing serious. <sighs> He's got a bloody lantern too. Even if he is carrying it in a weird fashion. Well, I'm not allowed to drown you. So you seen how did you see that body? It's in the darkness. Well, if I'm not allowed to drown you, but I am allowed to leave you somewhere precarious, right? As a as a warning. Don't roll over. Sewers. See, I mean, what's the sight of a body in the sewers is not, you know, nothing rare, right? There's one just obviously caught up in a flood tide and got his foot caught on the lab and just hung there mouldering for, uh, for some time. Here's this window. I mentioned this is. I don't know where that's going. Where does this go? That's an odd wall with lots of extremely circular holes in it. Oh, it's a dead sweet hole. I don't need that. Where does this go? Hang on. More dead sweet holes. Another sewer grate. Okay, we can get to the streets here. You say there's an odd little alcove, but it's really not, it's just the uh, archway. So I think that's the way to go. Let's, what's, what's out this way? Should, you know, make sure I've scouted out our options. There's machinery up this way. Hello, what's it? Oh, this is Lord the Wall's property. Keep out. Okay. Is that going to get us right into the mansion? That would be a little too easy, wouldn't it? In which case, I'm going to have a... I think I'm going to go that way. I'm going to have a peek up onto the, uh, the street up here. <sighs> See what we've got. I mean, lots of rain, but apart from that... <sighs> Seems pretty clear. An armor is shocked. Solan Avenue. 
That's the rules of state, right? That's gotta be. Oh shit, that's a god. That's a <clears throat> Nothing there now. Really blind god, I guess the figure in the driving rain is not so uh, visible. Oh no, the moss is not gonna go be unwelcome. Certainly no approach to the manor here. Don't be looking in the sewers, alright mate? Where's that guard? God, I was just hearing. Well, it doesn't matter. We're not going to go in the front door, right? It'd be... Kind of... Kind of a bad idea to go in the front door, but... Okay, I guess we're done. Going this way. I'm more sorry for my trouble. Better than nothing. And, uh... I don't know, should I take it along for a snack? Yeah. Not today. I think I'll be, I'll be alright. I think I'll survive with that. Without Sweel McNuggets. This is Lord DeWolf's <sighs> property, you say? This is where I want to be then. Another <sighs> muster, that's ten. Hello? The Lord don't like the idea of unwanted visitors prowling around in his sewers, be they thrushes, the greasehanders, or any other git. You have to ask them politely to leave the premises, lest they end up as long pig on a butcher's display in Zealot's Hollow. Speaking of sewers, got any news on the network under the seraphic? The Lord would like his associates to have a discreet way in, should his new friends think of double-crossing him. Hmm. If someone is supposed to be sitting here on guard, and they are definitely not. Let's climb up. Stick our nose out and see what we've got happening. He's got a key. Uh, are you okay, man? You just closed this and opened it again. Okay, well that's awkward for us, right? If that place is, has a guard, I don't know how often he comes back. Uh, but I think I'm going to just take my chance for right now and just have a have a go for it. Uh, maybe... I won't get there in any kind of reasonable time. And we just end up... Walking face first into the sky. I think that's him coming back right now. Indeed. <sighs> He's not going to notice the gate, the door open behind him, is he? The door that's supposed to be secure. <sighs> I can't drop this guy here if I never wanted to. Right, now he won't notice. Nothing for him to notice. Also means I can't hear him walk away, right? I 
really can't, yeah. And walk away he has. Okay, he went up those stairs. By the sound of it. Alright, you know what? Father Bertold. You should be safe enough down here. You can't hide for long. God, double. You didn't hear anything. Okay, now. Come on. Stupid fucking game. What even are those? Come on, son, Metal come carpets. On. I'm gonna reload, that's just <sighs> What I tried to do was mantle and I have to make it <sighs> Enormous great clanging sound. Anyway, <sighs> turns out there is nothing down there that I need to worry about. Where's where's this lead? That's nice. Coins versus diamonds on. Well, you would normally use coins as a weight, but it's a nice touch anyway. Okay, is there uh... <sighs> Damn it, can you just not do that, Jim? Getting up here might be uh, a good possibility. Now I can do this further over and, and have a better place. Are you facing my way or are you facing away? You're facing away. Die! Ow! There's an arrow! There! <laughs> oh. Okay, so what this seems to be is. Ow, oh, shit, all the way back here. This seems to be do not let the wall himself notice the presence. Any of his guards seeing you is just perfectly fine and hunky dory. Which I admit is weird. Oh, so I didn't even see him up there before when I came this way. That was kind of. I just got lucky. Alright, well, we're gonna. Come back here. Darken this place up a bit. Take the loot. Stick the arrow in that beam. I'm gonna try not making a ton of noise here. Okay, come on up with me. He <sighs> just got straight onto the rope, did he? No, he won't get on the rope. There we go. I hope they don't think to relight candles that have weirdly gone out. Otherwise, they'll be in trouble. Alright, where are we going? Torture chamber in the wine cellar. Okay, the wine cellar should be easy to get to, right? Except we don't have a map of the damn basement. Going up. Let's take a quick look. Orient ourselves. That's not a wine cellar door. That's definitely no wine cellar. Okay. I think behind 
this table. <laughs> Doubtful. Alright. Oh my god. No, there's no point putting moss on that. We're just gonna have to. Gonna have to crawl across. We're carrying this guy. I can't. Can't waste two moss out of there. Yes, I can. I put one in the middle, and then I should put it slightly further towards the other end because that's why I need to stop crawling. I'm hearing noises from above through the wall. That. Oh, he's down there. It's not through the wall. Not from above, it's from below. Kind of the opposite. insists we keep a journal, and since I'm the only one among the boys who knows how to write, I'm the one who has to write in it. What's the point? Nothing ever happens here. Boring. High screams right out of some opera coming from the kitchen. Perry threw a rat at the scullery maid as a prank, but the Lord didn't really find that amusing. Two days of withdrawn wages. Really funny, Perry. The Lord is as tense as a bowstring lately. He was never the cheery type, especially since the lady died a few years back, but he's been doing nothing except spend his days in his study for the past week or so. Holbert came in to bring him in a message, but he couldn't be found anywhere. The food is great, but it's been getting harder to digest ever since that Selenian, Selenian cook started working here. Good advice from Petrus. Don't eat anything this cretin is incapable of naming without using pompous names such as Duck Croissantine with Maltotoy sauce. Wow, you spelled that right. That's good work. My stomach's been torturing me, and the captain found nothing better than to assign me to security. The Lord brought his fortune teller and sees death everywhere. Properly paranoid. Everyone's on maximum alert. But if I have to go to the latrines, then so be it. And to the trickster with my post. Okay, well, uh, that's not something I need to carry with me. Alarm system instructions to the house guard. The Lord's Ruby is protected by an alarm system that triggers as soon as the glass case is touched or left open. The alarm and the periscopes are controlled in the security office on the second floor. The alarm automatically reactivates after five minutes if it ever gets deactivated for whatever reason. It goes without saying that these devices must remain active at all times. A guard shall always be posted nearby, but the door can only be opened with my key, your captain. Okay. So we need to find the captain of the guard. The Baron's police. Secure the streets, protect the city. Guard did not seem to be coming this way, but I'm not 100% sure I trust that. The seam. What do I see there? Nothing, nothing, nothing. Yeah, standing up is a bad idea. Oh well. Must earn nothing. So that's the archer. Oh. This guy goes downstairs, right? Or did you just stand there and turn? Come on, man. You can do better than just stand and turn. Yeah, that's right. Go on, go on patrol. Seems to have gone down. Down says What's nothing. going on over there? Get. Your dog meat. You're around here somewhere. It's just there. Ugh. Where is he? Ugh. Come out and fight me. That's bad news. I was facing the door and the door was lit and I didn't have a chance to not be seen in there. Well, I guess I could have pulled in. Oh, he's given up. I'm going back. I mean... He's given up for the moment. He's gonna take a while to calm down, I think. 
His friend is going to be coming upstairs too. I guess I could disruption that, right? I could disruption. I don't know the range of this thing. Or... Can I look out here without being seen? Can't kill him. Not allowed to kill him, but I could drop him with a gas arrow. It's very expensive. That looks like the wine cellar. He doesn't have the key for that door though, that's what I was hoping for. Can I see him safely from here? No. Can't see him at all. Find a secret torture chamber. This is clearly the wine cellar. What's that? Who goes? Has he seen the body? Are they that alert? <sighs> Guess he must be. I could knock him out, but I want to try and pretend nobody ever saw anything. I mean, he thought he saw a break, an intruder, but he clearly didn't, right? He went to investigate, there's no one there. It's just, you know, his imagination getting the better of him. <sighs> Both turn to look at me at the same time. <laughs> Too much coffees this morning. I'm twitchy as hell. That could be to be quite honest. Oh, I'm gonna try and drop the body in here. Now. Did I just somehow not get seen doing that? I want to grab the door, but these sharp edge pools of light are kind of a problem. Man, look at that. Once. Okay, the tight. Tiny pixel where it's in between. Oh my god, this lighting is awful. Who does that? I mean, yeah, maybe the answer is that the range would be bigger otherwise. But, you know, that's what you tweet. Light should have. Not. Light doesn't just suddenly stop. Doesn't work that way. Shouldn't work that way in Thief either. I didn't even look at these bottles. Okay, they're not the good stuff. Wait a minute, this isn't... It's like guards. What have we got here? Papyrus, a levy paid. Why does it say papyrus? Oh, select. It's a box of papyrus. select levy paid. It's like, why does this papyrus describe that it's a papyrus? Gear oil. Levy paid. Weird clicking noise. Crypt or something? Seems to be. Well, that's off mission. We don't need to go there yet. We've got to find the. Uh... Maybe that's the periscope I'm hearing. 
What does it say periscopes? Hmm, no way that's obviously... Oh yeah, that's maybe this is the staircase, yeah. That would make sense. Not would that it would be nice if that thing is making a clicking noise of that so you can hear it. That's that's good, that's cool. So this is the wine cellar. Where is he hiding his torture chamber? That was close. There's nowhere to hide a torture chamber in this hallway. Pretty poor wine cellar too. Did he not drink much wine? I kind of want to look at, go out where this guard is going. I think I'm just going to knock him out. Because, uh, how else am I going to get out past places? It would be a lot, feel a lot better to do this whole thing without, you know, too much interference with guards, but I don't see how that's a practical proposal at the moment. Come on, turn around. Thank you. Any good wine? No, uh, not at all. Although... Uh, be hiding a door there, there's a suspicious break in the shelf, isn't there? Uh, Might explain why this guy's parked right here as well. It's like, why would you guard... ...the wine cellar so strongly? A very suspicious break in the shelf. Turn around and I'll go and have a look for levers. Nothing. Nothing at all. Stuck on the damn barrel. Oh my god. You heard nothing? Oh, well, that seems true. Surprising me. Wow. Well, target practice for luck. This range. Didn't even get the center of the bullseye. Hume is such a bad shot. Uh, you know, he's always out of practice. There's... A, is that a tap on the barrel? Should've known. Should've known. that went up give me the objective completing twice. Okay, it still counts. It still counts. That's weird. The game just froze solidly for a second. I thought it crashed. That's an excellent sleeping pose. <coughs> Good work there, fire mage. <laughs> I think fire mage did most of the custom poses and animations. <laughs> if not all of them. He's got some potions on the shelf above him, but neither of them look <coughs> usable. I think we're done in here then. Okay. I need to go check where that other guard is patrolling, but I think that's the stairs down, right? I'm curious about getting over there as well. Behind that locked gate, but... Let's 
Yeah, these doors just blow open in the breeze. In the slightest breeze. There are no ghosts, Kevl. Wait, you're not going, are you? D don't leave me. What else do you want? You're in your bedchamber. But who will accompany me to my bed? I'm scared. Don't let them get me. Oh! And if I accompany you to your bed, then who's gonna accompany me to mine, hmm? I mean, don't let me stop you guys having fun in bed together if you want to. Scared with creepy statues like that, that around. Has he gone to bed? Healing potion, thank you. He's just sitting there. He's just sitting there wanting, watching the entrance. Oh, he's doing something, but he doesn't seem to have anything worth stealing, right? He doesn't look too scared, kind of more dejected. Doing his slow mo karate practice. Good. Keep it up, Kevin. City Tribune. Duel at the waterfront. A duel was fought on Wednesday morning in a field near Wayside between two Sancrobrillian aristocrats. One of them had his stomach pierced with a dousing spear. He was taken to a nearby ap apothecary where he lies with little hope of recovery. Mounted on his horse, the survivor galloped to the docks where he escaped aboard a ship just about to set sail. The hour of the duel had been fixed expressly to favour the survivor's escape. Witnesses claim the quarrel originated from a fiery discussion about who had the longest spear. More on page 6. Yeah, who had the longest spear. Unusual hanging. At the execution of Godric Fogg, a notorious thief from Stone Market, the executioner actually played the part of a buffoon to the populace by taunting the hanged corpse, saying, Are you dead enough, my friend? He also shook hands and danced with him, then struck the dead body with such violence it caused it to spin. Lord Bafford commented, it was certainly a grotesque spectacle, and the hangman behaved worse than a brute, but it isn't out of place in our fair city. Everybody knows that an execution is the signal for distraction, amidst the selling of pastries and sausages and the mellifluous cries of pie sellers. More on page 8. I'm Lord Bafford knows the word mellifluous? I don't believe it. I think I've made that up. Okay, that's just the where I came in, right? No, I don't know where that is. <coughs> Got lucky here with this guy, but I just kind of had to take the risk, I guess. Because I can't see another way up apart from this stairway. Presumably where our guard friend uh, went upstairs from. Hang on, I've got to, got to try again for luck. Well, that's a little more like it. Still a bit off. Good enough, though. Alright. Now that the proper job is done, let's check out this crypt. Here lies Casimir de Wall. Here lies Razor Louise de Wall. Here lies Dust de Wall. Blank, no black. Guess it's ready. It's a, it's, no one's been buried there yet. This one, someone's been buried in, but they don't have no black. No name. Here lies Arena de Wall. Who doesn't like her loot being stolen? Here lies... What's his name? The current De Wall. After tonight. Or after tomorrow. 
or something. It's weird that the plan involves sneak into his mansion, don't be seen, get into all his most secret places, and not, like, poison him, assassinate him, but leave a body so the police can come and raid his place and do what? The Baron knows the walls are thug. Let's... How's another body going to uh, make a difference? Now those paintings are uh, worth stealing, huh? Oop. Right, that's fine. Is this a noisy floor? I don't know, this periscope has got a remarkably short turn. Which is annoying. I could disrupt it, I could just try and beat it. Was that a loud tile footstep? I couldn't tell. Try that again. Yes, it is. Of course it is! Guys, coming this way. In the dark, on the carpet. I see what seems to be a secret door there, and what seems to be a secret lever underneath there, so. Why don't we try. Using secret passages. In preference to the normal ways around. So you got it me. Alright, actually, let's check the map. So, yeah, that's east. We're coming up the stairs from the east. That is definitely here. And if I say X. Okay. Well, I don't know where we're going to find the stuff we need to steal, but. Um, we'll want to do some scouting anyway. First of all, okay, we've got... A hallway on the next floor. Facing north-south. That's got to, we've got to be here in the gallery, right? Down here is a door on the west side. No, the gallery isn't a door on the west side. Where, where are we? Oh, we're here in the guest here at the guest room. Okay. All right. And I see the switch for it right there. Maybe our entrance. What about this doorway? This one's facing north. This one almost certainly goes into the gallery and uh Periscopes and guards, yeah. Alright. That's what comes out about there. And we've got stairs up. Oh, we've got a peephole, not a uh <laughs> Who's causing this kerfuffle? Sleep boring forever. Can't put it back, okay. Where is that looking to? That's is that To think our tithe money goes to pay these pusillanimous watchmen. That must be the is that the guest room then? We're looking east. Yeah, we just came around this corner. Okay, so there's someone in the guest room. Man, they're not even frog proxying these switches. Wait a minute, no, we were... Oh, right, right, right. In the guest room, there's a door there. Is 
This looks just like the, the floor that was not noisy before. Hello. <laughs> Why are you hiding in the shadows? Because you would get scared and call for the guards if you saw me. To think our tithe money goes to pay these pusillanimous watchmen. Come on. I love secret admirers. All right then. <sighs> Pox upon this place and its dirty shadows. Hello. Guardsmen! Oh, I admire this. No, don't, don't, don't burn yourself to death. That would be unfortunate. <sighs> I am ever so flattered by your very kind words, dear, and I would love to see you again. With this prospect in mind, I intensely yearn your graceful and eminent presence in my wealthy but lonely manor house. I have acquired a rare and delicate flower with beautiful, shapely, pink, blooming petals. I am absolutely certain you'd love it so very much. I cannot wait to show you my wonderful pearl as well, that I acquired from an exquisite shop in Stone Market. And after you're done strolling in my garden, you could eat some of my little treats I love to cook for you. For instance, my tasteful buns. Of which I know you're so fond. With my affection, A.K. Yes. I know exactly the, uh... Those buns are tasty indeed. Um... You're not subtle with your innuendo there. So where was that utterly boring prayer book? There. That's, I mean, there's not much of a spy hole if it mostly looks out on that damn chimney. You're gonna make creepy spy holes, you know. If you could place them better. Well, anyway, it's clear that it is not a forced ghost mission, as the <sighs> description kind of suggested. Because obviously we've been spotted a few times and we've not lost the mission yet. It's just don't let DeWall himself see you. Of course, I have no idea where DeWall himself lives. All right, I like this weird, incredibly thin wire, but uh, I do like these hanging baskets. It's very nice, very nice touch. Oh, there's a lot of there's a lot of cool detail in these missions. I regret to say. I regret to say it because something I find immensely hard to do in my missions. Okay, so we want to get to the security office, right? We're in here, we need to go just head north and around the corner. It can't be that hard. Don't seem to have too many guards on patrol, right? Need one more periscope to get past. There's not much darkness. There's some, I guess. I bet the. Uh... Those are supposed to be gas lamps, that, that model. Um, but I bet they're not. In I bet they're they're electric in the way they've been set up here. That I would need to disrupt them instead of water arrowing them. Oh no, don't come this way. You know what, this would be a good place for one of my mosses. And then jump to carpet. So, Alright, let's see. Map says we've got a. There'll be a guard outside and the periscope, right? 
That's the problem. Not just a periscope. Oh shit. Damn glass doors. Let's make, make a move, which is like, go somewhere where he's not going to see us. Did not expect to get seen through the damn door. And of course, it muffled the sound so much, I barely heard anything. I just heard a big shout. I was like, What's the, what is that? Turned around, and there he was. Where am I right now? Here near the pool, okay. Well, it's not much, but it's some loot. Alright, at least this will be a good spot for scooping up the guard and periscope, right? So he's going to sit down. This guy might be coming in here, I need to be. No, he's walking away. The guard in front of the security office keeps running down the stairs. Is he like eating too much of the stuff. Oh, where, am I, where am I being lit from all of a sudden? The chandelier there suddenly doesn't... Okay. Periscope face the door, in fact. It does not. Okay, so we can wait till that guy leaves again. And run over and pick the lock, I think. Oh, that's cool. Oh, they've got dogs. Okay. Dogs is also March. <laughs> Walking with his sword over his shoulder. You know what? I think. Shit. Terrible timing. All right, we're gonna have to wait for the next next opportunity. Uh, I think this is an excellent place then to end the episode. Next episode, we'll break into the security office and get some stuff shut down. At least make sure we can get into the security office. It's... Where did that guy go? No, I guess he went down the other hallway. Alright. Next time, we make our move.